scouts like down in Texas and things like that. But I mean, how have these past kind of few months kind of prepared you for what you did today? I mean, of course. I mean, obviously, Michael Johnson performance and you know Michael Johnson, Olympic athlete. You know, he they pride themselves on a running form, running form, and, and forty and all that. Yeah. So I was able to, able to prepare for that. Also, it was with great great athletes, great personnel that helped us in the weight room on the field, yeah. position work. So I'm grateful that I was I was able to go there and you know was just being consistent, you know, taking care of my body, just improving every day and um, encouraging. You know, every, everybody's encouraging along the way and. Just glad to where I'm at, you know, doesn't stop here, of course. Just continue to be consistent and, and growing the areas that are um, going to help me moving forward. So, just, again, just thank you. Yeah. Were you looking forward to uh, an event like this just because you knew that it, putting these physical things on display was going to help you? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just going to do what I do. I don't know what their heads are right now, at least, but, uh, you know, all I can do is control what I can control, you know. I feel like I did that the best, the best way I could, and um, of course, yeah, there's no, there's no, you don't reach, you don't reach the pinnacle. You always, you know, go can go further. But today, I feel like I did what I what I could, and hopefully, the team saw that and liked it, and I did, you know, hopefully, they'll, they'll, they'll analyze and look at it, and um, give the opportunity there. So, you know. Yeah. Is this is this kind of full circle for you? Obviously, I mean, like coming in as an Ohio State running back, I mean, to have your final kind of preparation for that next level year. I mean, what have you been able to kind of reflect on what your time at Ohio State has been like? And, and, and I guess what is that? What comes to mind when you think about I mean, about of course, uh, of course, we always reflect, you know, this last year, of course, wasn't good for well or would like it to be. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so uh, I mean, the last couple of years before that were a lot better, but I'm still not even where I know I, what I, where I can be and what I can do. So I'm still hungry, like, to just show, you know, uh, what I can do and still put out there what I know I, I have. Just, um, so, um, like I said, I'm just looking forward to what's, what's coming in the future and yeah. opportunities that hopefully the Lord, the Lord uh, places, places me in. And, but either way, man, I, I'm just, I'm just thank, thankful to the Lord, and I give him the praise you know, all day, every day, like, no matter what circumstance I'm in, I know – that I'll be where he wants me to be. What? So. Sorry, what is that level? <laughs> I mean, like, a lot of people have seen you play, and I'm curious, it, what level can you, do you think you can get to? Like, in terms of, like, what do you aspire to be? Obviously, NFL, right? Like, I mean, but, like, what, what, what do you want? What do you think you can do, I guess? What did you mm -hmm. think that you can prove to be? Yeah, I mean, I'm just just second level running and really making those big, big plays and yeah. big runs, you know. I got speed. Just making sure I, I, I put myself in a position where I can, you know, break those those runs. I know they're not going to come all the time. You know, you got to have get gritty and dirty. I can do that for sure. I yeah. can, you know, third and short red zone. I can do that. You know, I just got to, you know, but I can also have those big play ability. Um, but I just got to put myself in a position. And I feel like some of the training I did this, this in the last couple of months helped me um, to better um, be able to show that when, when the time comes when I get on the field. So. You know that, and then of course, pass pro man, like that's always something that running backs need to work on. It's very important, just protecting the QB, protecting his backside, and um, making sure everything's clean. So that's always something that they that back um, work on uh, all all the time. So did you give much consideration to coming back for another year, or were you always ready to be done um, after well, this? Well, you know, with the situation at hand. You know, I, I didn't, I don't, I didn't. I felt that I was ready to, to move forward. I felt uh, confident in myself. I felt um, I was being led. You know, I was led to do that. So, um, you know, coming back with I guess that's a, that, that was an option. But you know, with the situation at hand, I wasn't sure what it would be like looking like this last year. Of, you know how right. things went down. So, um, but you know, right now I'm just in the moment and you know happy with where I'm at and just looking forward to what, what the Lord does. With, with all of it, so. How hard plenty. was it for you to show them that you could catch the ball consistently today? I mean, it, it's cool, you know, you know, like a lot of times people second guess with big backs, you know, oh, I'm catch or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. I can catch, uh, for sure, you know, it's just, it might not be as pretty as, you know, some receiver like a lot of them, but, you know, I can work towards that, but, you know, uh, just, just the body type is a little different, so. But I, I can definitely catch, and I'll, I'll hopefully I showed that today, and, confident in my hands and uh, so hopefully you know they saw that and you know maybe can dispel some of the some of the, some of the second guessing on that on that game so you talked a little bit about your decision you know to go to the NFL instead of coming back another year 
But did you consider going to another school, you know, perhaps it's be a, a feature back or, or something like that? I mean, of course, of course, that's a, another option that you think of and I think of. Um, you know, yeah, so, but, you know, ultimately I decided to leave and uh, I feel like that was the best decision for me at that point and it still is. So, like, again, so I'm just looking forward um, to the future and what's, what's in store. So. And, you know, four years ago you were here, you know, ran through gambling and drills and all that so that you could get an offer. Does this kind of feel like it's full circle for you to have to be in that same kind of situation and improve your work? Um, I mean, again, I, I, I uh, just come out here and just do what I can and control what I can control. Um, you know, I guess the teams will look at it and, and analyze it and figure out for themselves what they think of it, you know. Um, and so um, I can't really dwell, dwell too much on, on, on that, those things, but uh, I just know that I did what I could today and continue to work to show that, you know, I deserve, I deserve an um, you know, opportunity and I, and I feel like I can help a team for sure. You know, did, so, did the scouts tell you what they timed you at in the forty? Uh, no, no, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure officially. Uh, I was telling him. I, I heard a couple, few times that around the where I, I felt like I would hit and they were around that. I'm not going to speak on it because I don't really <laughs> know for sure. So I'll just let it come out on its own. I know your broad jump, though, I think that would have been the best one among all running backs at the combine. Like, how does that feel to, you know, be able to put down that kind of performance? I mean, I already know what I, what I could do. I already knew I could do that. So it's not surprising. Um, just do it, you know. <laughs> Is that the sort of thing that you would be training for as an athlete regardless? Or did you have to train for some things that are very, like, workout specific for this to try to get a good thing in the broad jump? Like, that, it doesn't I mean, seem like something that would fit into being a running back in college necessarily that you've been working on. I mean, it's just explosion. It's just, um, you know, I mean, just explosion. It's kind of something that you can work on, but I mean, you have you some, some of the stuff you have it. Just, um, but you can definitely work on it. You know, we worked on just explosion in the weight room, different uh, movements in the weight room to help us with that uh, specifically. So, you know, I was doing that kind of jumping. You know, for the last in high school, like I was doing that. So, um, you know, it's kind of just what I'm used to, I, I know I can do it. And I was trying to get 11 actually, but I got 10, 10 11, that's still good. But, um, so, yeah. Have you had any like individual meetings with teams? Any scheduling any individual uh, not, not, not necessarily in person, but I was talking on the phone, uh, Zoom, whatever. Uh, so, and a lot of questionnaires, you know, about those. So, <laughs> so I've done a lot of that, but uh, not, not anything in person. Anybody you in particular that you want to share? Uh, no, I, I mean, there's quite a few. I can't name them all right okay, now. That's but, right. Um, yeah, there's definitely teams. Mm. You mentioned the last year not going the way you wanted it to. How would you kind of describe your Ohio State career? Just I, all, the entire thing. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, especially, I guess, you know, of course, last year didn't, didn't go quite the way. Um, or didn't go the way that I, I imagined. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to, e either way, I just wanted to show my character to be, be available whenever I could and, uh, you know, contribute in the way, in the way that I could. And, you know, it's been been a journey for sure. Uh, I felt like my sophomore year was, was probably the best year that I that I showed and I had. And um, you know, with, with COVID, the next year was 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 all right, but wasn't I wasn't fulfilled. You know, with that, um, you know, just, you know, it was part of my just my performance, but also just the, the limited amount of games that we had. Um, but you know, uh, I think that. It's just a journey. Like I have a journey, and the Lord has me on this journey, and all I can do is just um, do what I can, um, just to, to improve and, and just like I said, control what I can control. And uh, I just trust that, that the Lord is going to put me in a place where He wants me to be. And I'm grateful for uh, being here. This is a this is a, a great place. You compete with great athletes every day. Uh, the alumni is great. Schooling is great. I got a great education, and um, so I'm looking forward to that in, in, in the future. You know, but. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm football and um, football all day, so that's what I want to do. And I, I, yeah, I just trust the Lord that He's going to put me in the position that He wants me to be. So, when you said last year not being what you wanted, how much of that is the injuries? Uh, no, well, I didn't, I didn't have an injury until uh, I guess mid mid season round. But before that, I was, I was great. You know, I had, had a great camp, a great summer. I uh, felt, felt that I, I improved a lot and was, was able to. To show that you know um, personally that 
you know, I was I was good for the job. Um, you know, didn't didn't go that way. Uh, so you know, that's you know, it's not it's not all up to my it's not in my control again. You know, it's, it's up to the coaches. So you know, they they saw what they saw, and um, you know, they're doing what they believe is best. I can't fault them. You know, they believe that's best, and sure, but I don't have to necessarily agree totally. But I mean, you know, um, so. Like I said, I did have, you know, injury, had COVID, so those were some road bumps in the road that, unfortunately, um, I had to go through. But, um, you know, I think the process in life, when you, have, when you have to go through a process and a journey, obstacles, it just makes you better, just makes you stronger. Um, and it, you know, honest, quite honestly, makes strengthens my faith in the Lord and uh, lets me know that I'm, I can control what I can control, but ultimately it's God who's in control and he puts forth the things that in, in, in due time in your season uh, in front of you so that you can, you can conquer those things. So, you said you had COVID.